sometimes we find something so awkward in a video game we think, uh, I think I need to get away for a little while. This is why today we're diving into the top 10 most incredibly awkward video game discoveries, part two. But first, a very quick less than a minute word from this video's sponsor, whose support helps keep the video game mysteries and discoveries keep coming. Now, I'm sure you've seen it everywhere, and yeah, they got me too, but I checked out Raid Shadow Legends for myself, and I gotta admit, for a mobile game, the production value is great. And if you're gonna go on a road trip like myself, it's a perfect match. You can assemble a team of different characters, travel across 13 different environments, and even start a raid with some of your friends. It's even gotten 15 million downloads in the last six months. Catching Rank is one of the top three RPGs on the Play Store, so you know they're doing something right. The best part, of course, is that it's free. Plus, new champions monthly, progression awards, and a roadmap of updates for the next six months. Go to my video description, click on the special links, and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck, and I'll see you there. Now back to the show. Steam. Thanks to Sickinator for submitting this mystery to me through my website, oddheader.com. When I first opened Sickinator's email, I sat there for a minute thinking I was being trolled, as Sickinator shared with me this single video claiming he and his brother accidentally found that they were to create a new profile on Steam, and uploaded a black 16-bit BMP as your profile pic regardless of size. Steam immediately swaps the image out with a picture of what appears to be a girl with a choker and a shirt that says, Send Nudes. Uh, what? Yet sure enough, when I went to try it for myself, it turned out Sickinator wasn't trolling me at all. As I saw it from my own eyes, sad nudes. So, does this mean something to anyone? Well, hopefully somebody has the answers because between this and the strange audio emitting from Steam that I mentioned in the last video, I'm starting to become convinced someone over there at Steam has completely <laughs> lost their mind. Heavy Rain Thanks to Red BG Fox who submitted this discovery in the comments to my last video. In the previous episode of Most Awkward Video Game Discoveries, we talked about David Cage's Beyond Two Souls, where hackers found an unexpected, normally unseen, fully detailed model of Ellen Page in the flesh, something she briefly considered legal action of. Unbelievably, it turns out nearly the same exact sort of discovery was made on David Cage's previous game, Heavy Rain. Except this time you didn't have to hack the game to find it. In fact, you barely had to do anything at all, as some players were in for a show as soon as they loaded up the game, as they found Madison in her incredibly detailed birthday suit as soon as her story started. Perhaps making things even more awkward, players even later found a way to replicate Madison's serious lack of clothing every time by utilizing a glitch when Madison goes to use the toilet. Can you even believe I'm saying these words right now? While at this point it's certainly a safe bet to not expect anything less from David Cage himself, I do have to admit this glitch makes these fighting sequences way more badass seeing Madison fight in true commando style. Big Rigs Over the Road Racing just by looking at Big Rigs, you can probably already tell this 2003 title is already a pretty awkward game. Consistently held as the worst game to ever actually hit store shelves, and the only known racing game where your opponent doesn't move, Big Rigs is the epitome of an unfinished video game that somehow managed to still get released, which becomes all the more unfortunate when we see what could have been, as Flarky filter on TCRF found by digging in the files of the game. The notoriously misspelled Your Winner screen was actually only the beginning, as the ultimate award was found in the files assumably intended for players who would have actually finished the game, which isn't even possible in the game's release state, and to think that this could have been a game with one redeeming quality. Additionally, Flarky also found this file in the game, which, come on now, you reschedule? How do you make an error like that? Then again, when it comes to this game, that question's probably been asked about a million times. Fortnite. Late last year, Fortnite received its Season 6 update, which included the addition of pets, new items, and changes to the overall map. However, much more astute players discovered a character skin was endowed with extra realism in her upper torso region that never appeared in the game before. Some players voiced that the addition felt awkward and excessive, so Epic Games decided to make things more awkward by quickly removing the discovery and claiming the effect only appeared as an unintentional embarrassing error. Taking Epic Games at their word here, how thousands of lines of physics code were somehow accidentally applied onto this character skin has got to be the single greatest gaming mystery of all time. Cause yeah, apparently that can happen. Truly an unsolved mystery. SpongeBob SquarePants, Super Sponge. 
Made for the original PlayStation, SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge is one of the very first SpongeBob licensed games, whose source code was leaked online when its developer Climax Group shut down in 2006. Among the files and resources that made up the original game, data miners were surprised to come across some especially shocking images. Which, well, honestly, I'm probably not going to be able to show much of this, but I think there's enough there for you to put together what's going on here. Though, honestly, as surprising as this is, it's not as though this wasn't already implied on the show. This is the hardest part of every parent's life, I assume. Let's have another. Not hard to figure out why Nickelodeon later censored that scene. The Sims 3 the Sims is a series that could probably attribute its whole success to a single awkward discovery, as when the first game was being demonstrated for the first time at E3 1999, two female Sims suddenly began romancing in front of the press due to a programming error, which instantly made the game the talk of the show and prompted the developers to play the accident off as a feature, not a bug. However, no discovery in the Sims series to date has been more awkward and confusing than this glitch that occurred for many Sims 3 players as when their male sims went to use the shower, they would suddenly transform into this untextured centaur reportedly wearing high heels. The f Things were even more awkward for Miss Darling Vile, who found their sim not only transformed this time into a textured centaur during some woo-hooey, but also found once the sim left the bed. Damn. I think I can say with certainty this might just be the weirdest glitch I've ever seen. Devil May Cry 5 In March of this year when Devil May Cry 5 was released, PS4 owners were perturbed when they realized this sequence when Trish loses her clothes inside of an enemy. A giant lens flare could be seen emitting from her ass that didn't appear in any other version of the game. PS owners assumed this was the responsibility of a purported new policy over at Sony America, as the censorship didn't appear in the Japanese version of the PS4 game. However, to make matters even more confusing, as soon as the lens flare was noticed, Capcom immediately patched the flare out of the US version, leaving players with Triss's ass in all of its naked glory. Still, it's a mystery what exactly happened here and which scene was originally the intended one, as another scene in the game that remained in all versions from the very beginning featured the same exact lens flare effect over another very new derriere, leading many confused whether or not the original lack of lens flare was actually a bug on the other versions, and that perhaps Capcom only folded to player backlash. Damn, I guess between this and the Sonic redesign, fan backlash has been on a roll this year. Now, how do we get the same result done for this scene? The Witcher 3 Thanks to YouTuber Durkinator for submitting this discovery through my website oddheader.com. The Witcher 3 primarily journeys its protagonist Geralt across the game's massive open world setting. However, The Witcher 3 also lets you play as the series' secondary protagonist Ciri, albeit only in limited sequences that don't let you explore the game's open world. Dirk managed to break out of these sequences with Ciri, traveling out of bounds and playing through Geralt's missions while collecting some moolah, which eventually led him to visiting one of the game's brothels and, well, I don't even have words for what you're about to see. Let's discuss what might happen next. Uh, alright, we're already off to a weird start. Uh, what? Wait. Oh, God. Oh, did he just do that? Let's just say results were interesting is a bit of an understatement. Oh, God. What the? Damn. And I thought that centaur in The Sims was weird as f Borderlands 2. This has to be the most submitted piece of content in Odd Header history. Players found with the use of a few carefully timed well-placed crouch jumps, they could get on top of the map in Sanctuary and find a gap in the environment that allowed them to get underneath Mad Moxie's bar, Moxie being Borderlands most promiscuous mission provider. And they did so just so they could catch this angle underneath Moxie's skirt. Wow. Though honestly, it is pretty weird the developers bothered adding so much detail there. And the fact that this concrete slab just so happens to extend directly underneath Moxie. Well, this is Gearbox we're talking about here, so I'm not exactly surprised. Now maybe you guys can ease up on submitting that one. Blair Witch. Yes, Blair Witch, the recently released psychological horror game developed by Bloober Team based on the 1999 film of the same name. Except, nope, we're actually talking about the forgotten 2000 Blair Witch game Rustin Parr. 
a super bizarre adventure that instead of focusing on teens in 1994 from the movie, instead takes place in 1941 where the player assumes the role of a monster hunting agent from an organization called Spook House, investigating a small town that's been hunted by an evil spirit called the Hexgato Mix. What the hell does that have to do with the Blair Witch? Regardless, no moments are more bizarre in Blair Witch than what I'm about to show you. As if you click on this bathtub enough times consecutively after Agent Elspiff Doc Holliday refuses, this happens. I don't have time for a bath right now. I don't have time for a bath right now. I could stand to freshen up. <laughs> You're kidding me. Wow. They really went there. Well, at least this time they added sensor bars for me. Oh my god. This is awkward. Wow. Okay then. Oh, much better. Of course, it doesn't end there. As if you leave the motel, grab the nickel off of this icebox, run down the street, grab the nickel off of this icebox, go into the diner, put one of the nickels in the jukebox, and then while it's playing a tune, you hand the other nickel off to the waitress and... Oh my god, is this really happening right now? Uh -huh. What is going on? Well, there's no question this is awkward. I don't even know what to say. What the f This is pretty bad. I, I don't even have words. I guess I can almost give this the benefit of the doubt of being a Coyote Ugly reference. Though it's probably more likely it's just a game made in the year 2000. Damn, don't see easter eggs like that anymore. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe. And if you know of any more awkward or rude easter eggs in a video game, let me know in the comments down below with the hashtag oddheader. Submit to oddheader.com, join the discord, or even send me a shout on Twitter or Reddit. Also, special thanks to Goeba for the awesome artwork. There's new t-shirts and designs down below, which I think are pretty awesome designs I got some myself, and picking any of those up definitely doesn't hurt to help the channel as well. In addition to new shirts and merchandise, I'm also going to be launching channel memberships, which will give viewers special emojis to use in the comments as well as access to never before seen footage, such as a different edit of this video. So check that out if you're interested. Shout out to Blake Ars, Daniel Lopez, Dead Plastic, Designer12, Down with System D, EC2 User, Get Meat, I Fart in Elevators, Igor.hxc, Nick, Rage Spot, Riley S, Select, Spencer I Rule at Games Geller, Towerizer, and Wade Murdoch for their Patreon support. Stay tuned.